what's up everybody? Welcome back to Lockhart Indigo. Um, last time, or at the end of the last video, I said I wasn't sure if there was any more to this game since it is a pre-alpha. But I found out that there is more, that I have to beat the pink bot in persuading her. Um, because if I don't, then the game just ends and, and they kind of like escort you out, I guess. So you have to beat her, or persuade her, I guess. And I played for hours. I've played this game probably six times all the way through trying to beat her. And I found out exactly what I need to do to beat her to get to the next level. And now this is actually um, pre-alpha 4.0. The one we played was pre-alpha 3.3, I believe. So this one has some updates to it. Um, I'm hoping I can find them. Unfortunately, I don't have my original playthrough. Um, these two are different, um, playthroughs that I did by myself. Um, we're gonna play the one because that's where we left off. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple things I actually did unlock without recording it. I should have saved it and gone back, but, um, really these were just test runs and then I found that I didn't actually save my files from my original run, run which is, it's actually okay, it's, it's not that bad. Um, there's just a few little things I'm going to show you guys that I found out while replaying that I didn't notice in the first time, or the first playthrough. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some things I found, and then we're going to go back and we're going to beat the pink bot and move on. And I don't know how much there is after you persuade her and get through. Um, as you can see, my second save is only just a few minutes, and I think it was some dialogue, and that was about it. And I stopped right there, so I would know that there is more to play. So let's just get started. Okay, so, a couple of the things I found, I'm just trying to remember. Oh, first I realized... I have to go outside. You have to excuse me also if if the the walking is a little funny. I actually smashed my hand in a door today. And um it's really sore, so just moving it's my right hand unfortunately, so it's the arrow keys. So if it seems like she's walking kind of funny, it's just because um <laughs> it really hurts. It's right on my pinky, so it's really sore still. So garden key added to our keys. And I think we had gotten the garden key at the end of the last playthrough. Or in the last playthrough, not necessarily the last part. I just remembered I was playing this last night and I knocked the key down off the roof, forgot to go back out to get it, and I went in there, beat pink bot, and I got stuck, so I had to restart. Um, this is not the way we want to go. So I'm going to show you guys something, a couple things I found while playing by myself. Oh, I haven't opened, opened that over there, it looks like. Um, so we don't have the creepy door key yet. I don't know where it is. It must be farther in the game, but I don't have that yet. Okay, we can dash through this. I found out over here, all of these unlock. This, I think, was the chic door key. This one was, um... Might have been the crafty key. And then, uh, I haven't done this one yet, apparently. And it unlocks. I have no idea what this does yet. Um, since we don't have the um, creepy key. And this is called like a strange painting. But you need a key. So I don't know what that is yet. If it even is in the pre-alpha. But see when you come up here. For some reason those all open. So it has to do with those keys. But right now. Even coming over here. There is nothing. I clicked everything over here so it must be maybe a part of the game that's not 
really open to the alpha or the pre-alpha yet so but it's something I found while playing by myself and it was all new to me and then um, I don't think there was anything over here no so we needed the creepy key to do that and that we couldn't there was nothing to do with that so I noticed I didn't do much with the oops, old key apparently this that's right I had found this actually on my own it's um, a little hard to navigate through here it's an upgrade or yeah upgrade to um, our persuasion persuasion so in this chapter you will learn to prey on people's sense of duty using the following techniques hold responsible and pardon um, yes, we're on green reading because these are very important in beating the pink pot. And in the last one, also, um, the Aya or Aya, I don't know how you say her name, I just call her Carmen San Diego because she's wearing the red suit. And we were supposed to beat her, and I actually played the game over and over and over until I found, um, until I found all the exact ones to win versus her. But it really actually didn't do anything. Um, maybe it will later in the game, but at the moment, she just says something and then walks away, and it's the exact same thing. But I did find a way to beat her, too. I always forget you can dash. Um, oh, I guess we'll save it just because... I did do some things. I don't remember if there was anything more. I don't remember if there's anything more I needed to get or show. Um, there was one thing. Oops. It's the only problem when you're pushing shift sometimes it will, um, It'll actually talk to the people if you're standing too close. Um, I think it was this way. No. I think it was this way. Yeah. I think last time, I don't think... I think I got this, yeah. Uh, name keeps showing up, Mr. Carol. Um, I didn't read all the books in here. And um, Ivan said he needed something in the archive and he gave us a key to the archive, which led us down here. But it must be because it's pre-alpha, there's nothing to really do in here. Like, you don't grab anything for him. I thought you could go back and talk to him about Evan's will. I thought that was the important thing he needed. But either, it's either something that's not unlocked yet for the game, or um, or I'm, I'm missing something, but I'm not sure yet. So, a document dating back to 1893. The cover, it covers Leonid Volkov's medical condition. A strange illness filled his lungs with fluid. Wouldn't that be pneumonia? Maybe in 1893, I don't know. A document dating back to 1919. It covers Vika Volkov's disappearance. She had gone missing since 1918, but was proclaimed dead the next year. A document dating back to 1919. It covers Albina Volkov's miscarriage. There's dried blood on the pages. See, I think some of these are supposed to mean something like there's dried blood on the pages, which is a little weird. So it must later in the game mean something. There's a strange unlabeled book here. Or unlabeled book. Inside the book, there's a strange... There's a segment titled Bricks in the Bag. Seems to be handwritten. A cold or cough, another brick in the bag. Head screwed on wrong, another brick in the bag. Your daughter run off. A newborn with no pulse, another brick in the bag. A brother with jealousy, 
another looks down on me, another brick in the bag. Oh, paper. Oh, paper work bores you? Well, sis, it bores me too. Another brick in the bag, another brick in the bag. I've got big shoes to fill and a long road to walk. Another brick in the bag, another brick in the bag. Got a long road to walk and no one to help me. So I don't know. I found out, I think I read it in the very first um, video. There was also a handwritten book over in the study hall where um, Aya or Aya is sitting. And I think it's actually I think it's above her where the key the gate key was that we grabbed. And it was handwritten too. And I swear there's a clue there, but I'm not sure if I'm just over over reading it or overthinking it or reading too much into it is what I meant to say. I'm not over reading it. Because it's just it's really interesting and I I think I'll go show you guys here in a minute. A document dating back to 1955. It covers Anna Volkov's death. Hmm. This document is signed by Ivan. So I think later in the game we must have something to do with that. Because it seems weird that's written by him or signed by him, but we we don't we can't pick up anything in this room. A document dating back to 1900. It covers Sonia Volkov's medical condition. Her mental state had deteriorated for months. And I think that's all in this room. See, in here, she's back and you can't really talk to her still. And I'm pretty sure I read these in um, the first video. I'm not positive, but there's this book that it seems to be catching my attention. I still think I'm maybe over just overthinking it, but we're going to read it real quick. Inside the book, there's a segment titled Ambition is a Dry Throat. Seems to be handwritten as well. When you lay to rest, when you take a breath, does it come whispering? When you rise to the test, when you fail to impress, is your blood boiling? This is how it starts. Starved mouths, growing teeth, lonely lovers, growing cold. No feast, no luxury, not even glory. No warmth, no pain, no amount of effort, nothing can satisfy. And yet, I find myself crawling. Atop the pyramids, within the funnels, always crawling. Crawling. Before I read the rest of that, it's this part that makes me wonder. It says, atop the pyramids within the funnels. So, always crawling. Ambition is a pit, an endless throat, one that went dry, and now thirsts eternally more. And what I find funny is not very many books like this are, are labeled. Like, this one says it's labeled Overcoming Your Past. Um, a book labeled Broken Hearts Can Heal. And you come down here, I can walk down here, it's just books about, books about, blah blah blah, um, the books about poetry and art, but here I think is where it gets me. A book labeled The Pyramids of Money, that strange written thing in that book said something about pyramids, and across from it, a book labeled Funnels of the Human Mind. Is that just a coincidence? Or is that like, is there supposed to be a clue there? I really think I might be overthinking it. But it just, it caught my attention when I was playing through, I think last night. And it made me wonder like, when these books are labeled something, is there, is that, is there a reason why some of them are labeled and other ones are like, it's a book about technology or it's a book about this, but it's not a specific book where some of these books are labeled. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of something I thought, saw the other night and it made me think. Okay, so we're gonna go into Pink Bot's area now. And I have it all written down. So I actually, I played it so many times the other night um, looking at things. I probably know exactly what to put. Good evening, Madame Summers. H Hello. Um, who am I speaking to? My maker has named me Margaret. I am designed to assist the Volkovs. Why was the door locked behind me? <laughs> no reason. Oh, that? Worry not. A simple safety measure. 
This is bad. Th this is an archive, right? Evan was killed by a robot. For all I know, she's the killer. Didn't they find a... Wasn't the shiv they found pink? I think it was pink, so you would think it's her, but she's got pink hair. She's a green robot, but she's got pink hair. I want to take a look. The, informa the information here is confidential. I've got to find a way out. If she opens the gate, maybe I could. Beatrice, don't look so nervous. Okay, so we can question her about... I think it was Evan's will, yeah. I've already got Evan's testament. What's your point? Okay, so now we have to persuade her. This part coming up is tricky. I think it took me two or three times to do it, so I hope redoing it now for this uh, session I'm doing, I hope it doesn't take me a hundred tries. So it was, first one was power, point of view, and private. I already have Evan's will, a very confidential file. I doubt these archives have anything more private. Haha, <laughs> well, great. Thank you. Okay, and the next one was power and authority. So you needed to find those little um, upgrades to persuasion in order to get to these parts. You work for the Volkovs, but so do I. And they want me to find the killer. Oh, of course. Uh, the other one is hold responsible and assistance. You're a robot. Shouldn't you be assisting me? I... I... Uh... Was not programmed to assist you. I'm programmed to assist the Volkovs. Uh... Heart... Um... Flatter... And... Pleasant. I enjoy how pleasant you are. Why, well, thank you. So that gets us past Pinkbot. Or Margaret. But I like Pinkbot. In that case... Go right on ahead. We'll be right behind you. I'm supposed to say Miss Summers. There are typos in this, and the developer has said he knows. Um, so he, they'll fix it soon. It's just it's in pre-alpha, so it's it's nothing to it's honestly nothing to me. I know what it's supposed to say, and I know when the game comes out, it'll all be fixed. So we okay. This part is actually really hard. So uh, orderly was added to our trait list. It's not really hard. With a bum hand now, it's probably going to be harder than it should be, but... Testimonial was revised. This is when the sh the, the shift key for um, dashing comes in very handy. Because you don't need it right now, because you can just cruise on down here and pick up this little... I what it was. It reads Mr. Carroll on the cover. I'll read through it when I can. Evidence was updated. The client has been updated. So now these creepy little robots come in. What was that? Yeah, and you cannot let them get you. Because they will kill you and then the game is over. And they come up on you fast here. Yeah, see I'm already screwing up because my hand hurts. Yeah, aw, oh, see? It's because I wasn't lined up. I haven't- I didn't save it, either. But I don't think I really... I don't think I did anything that needed saving. I was just showing you guys things that, um, happened, so... Okay, so I got done through... Persuasion. Well, my game glitching out on me. So we had quickly... Pick this up again. Yes, we saw that. Luckily, we don't have to really worry about the robots right here. They don't really bother you right here. And then I panic and I always like push the wrong thing. See if I can do this right. Okay, and I remember they follow you here. You can't run into the pink bots. And you find Aya over here. Something I did not get to do last, uh, at the end of the last video, because I thought maybe it was the end when we didn't beat the robot, but. All new stuff here. 
Why did you make the deal with Yvonne? What? I can't... Why would she not know? She was wearing earrings that were listening in on the conversation. Oh, no. Creepy purple robots now instead of gray. Aya! What are you doing? You're... You're saving me? Damn, nice shot, Carmen San Diego. You didn't answer my question. Whoa, what? Why did you make the deal with Yvonne? I thought you had done it. In the end, I just wanted my paycheck. I just want my paycheck. I see. We can continue this discussion later. What's going on? The robots in the mansion. They've gone out of control. We need to leave. No. The killer. If they cause this, it means they're... scared. I must be getting close. What are your last... What were you last looking into? A name mentioned on event Evan's will. Mr. Carroll? Does that name mean anything to you? No. I think she knows something. No, but I might know someone who can help. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. This opened now, yeah. And I think this was something. Bird's crest added to your keys. I tried doing something earlier and I need to save it real quick because I'm scared that, um, that, um, what happens, it locked up on me. And I don't know if it was my computer or if it's the game. So I'm going to go this way instead of back. Yeah, see this opened up through Ivan's, or Yvonne's Ivan's. Oh, sh shit, though. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to get past these people. Um, I, th uh, I don't know what to do. Remember, you can go this way and there's a... Oh, that's right. No, I really need to save it before anything. Whew, okay, so this is going to be a lot harder than it looks. Oh, here she is. I've, I went the wrong way. How did we end up in Nosh's lab? Huh. Find a way through this... Find a way through this door. You'll find a man named Jacob. He designed these machines. If anyone knows anything, it's him. Which door? That door? Or this door? Maybe it's blocking the way. No, it must be the bird. Yeah, okay. The strange painting is blocking the way. I think the bird's crest opens this. Yeah! I believe this is all actually... This is all new in the pre-alpha 4.0. So this is actually new gameplay that was released just a few days ago. I know this will be out way in the future because of the way I plan, um, have everything planned out, but this is actually brand new in the 4.0 um, pre-alpha. Oh shit, the pink bot though. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. Luckily we saved it though. I'm not going to talk to her because we already listened to it, so hopefully that doesn't mean we have to... That doesn't mean we have to listen to it because it doesn't... she doesn't unlock anything. Luckily the pink bots are a lot slower, they just caught me off guard there, and that's my only problem. Is I end up going through somewhere and then all of a sudden there's a robot there. Um, the gray, purplish ones, those guys are fast, so we don't want to encounter them. Um, I'm gonna go down this time. Um... Actually, you could... Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, so we can't go this way. Okay. Uh-oh. Luckily, you can do that. Oh, man. Come on. No. Luckily, you can trick the pink ones. This one's the hard one. Oh my god. By the time I back around or turn around, they come back. 
So I got to figure out a, a new way to, when I go in that room, I need to find a new way to come up and around. Okay, I really think if I move this box now, it is totally going to help me. Oh shit, she didn't go that way. I did it way too fast. Okay, so I got back here. No, ugh, forgot. Just gotta figure out how I did this now. Oh, we have to update our thing. Mm-hmm, yes. Yay. Okay, so we can push that once, but we gotta trick her to go over here. Darn it, messed up. Damn it. Back up to that stupid little baby face. That's just creepy. <laughs> I just gotta get that pacifier and I would be good. I just keep screwing up right here. I know exactly what I need to do. I just, my hand sometimes will not let me go that way. Okay, this is the part where I just... You gotta like... It's like a puzzle, and I'm not very good at puzzles, so... Is that new to the game where she's always like shaking? Maybe it wasn't the other game. I'm thinking, I'm like trying to see the puzzle in advance here. So we'll read this. See, she should be able to fit through that little tiny hole. I wish I could move that box back up. But I can't get down there, so... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that box goes back.
Ha <laughs> ha. This time I blocked her in so she's not gonna be chasing me. That will help. Majorly. I just know this one here. Trying to like lure her this way, maybe. Oh, I just trapped myself. Okay, there. So we've blocked her in. Oh, I need to get the key first. I honestly think I can make a run for it up here. Oh, right, we did it. Oh my God, we did it. Oh my God, we did it. Oh, you guys have no idea how long I played that. I've been recording this video for 15 minutes and I even paused or didn't pause the video. I stopped the video to go back and look at something because I wasn't sure how I did it. So I've been playing this probably for a good half hour just trying to get down there. And my only complaint about that little section is you don't have enough time to really stare and look at the, the puzzle. And that's maybe not even the way to go to go back up. I just got maybe lucky. But I think it would be really nice if there was like one more telephone down there when you got the key. So you don't have to play it over and over. I mean, you can die getting out maybe a hundred times, but it just gets really old if you can't pass it, like how stupid I am. I'm not a very good puzzle person, so I tend to struggle with puzzles. But we've got this pacifier. Now we are going up. Please no more robots. Oh my god. Oh. oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, you're Jacob, aren't you? You're the tech guy, right? You can stop these machines. It's not so simple. <laughs> the robots are being hijacked by some sort of radio signal. Poor Jacob, he's a little green. He looks like he might need some, um, Peptimo Bismo or something. How do you know this? When we designed the bots, we integrated a radio override. This was meant to rally them. Our killer is using it to get rid of me. Yeah, he got rid of me like a hundred times before. <laughs> before I actually finally got away. All right. Where's the signal coming from? Hard to say. It should be anywhere in the man- It could be anywhere in the mansion. Then I'll comb the whole place. I don't want to comb the whole place. There are freaking bots everywhere. Um, Jacob Spielman. What can you tell me about Mr. Carroll? Well, where'd you hear that name? Tell me what- Tell me what do you know? No, 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 nothing. Right. Oh no. I don't know if it's just me. I don't understand the persuading. I mean, I understand it. But I don't understand um what clues I'm supposed to look for to to get like it on the first try or maybe easier. Unknown trait yet to be uncovered. Likes commitment needs security. Okay, so Likes commitment needs security.
No offense. That doesn't help me. I don't know if I'm just too dumb. Need security, which would make me think you would need heart. Relax. You haven't done anything bad. R right. Oh. Where do I read this? Does that... Oh, so I got it the last time. I didn't even notice that. I don't think attacking their character... Um... It takes a smart guy to build all their machines. Thank you, but I didn't work alone. Okay. It helps me a little. Misunderstood. Needs approval. Likes commitment needs security. Well, I already did that. Congratulations on your invention. I didn't invent anything. The robots were designed by... Never mind. Okay, so I think since I already did a flatter... I know you're scared. And you're not? Oh no. Yeah, that doesn't really help me. Um, because... <laughs> uh, yeah, they're just... I'm just, I don't know. It, it's just something is a little too hard about it, and maybe it's just me. I don't remember what I did now. Um, I think I did protect. Okay, so I did protect. And I gave him... I give him credit or they say he's smart? I think it's smart. Okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna need more heart with this guy. Okay, apparently not. Let them direct? What do you want? Where are you going? Um, I don't know. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's not it. I don't think this would work. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, I've done this a few times now, and... I've, I've gotten three of the four, so I'm getting there. Like I said, these... <laughs> To me, these don't help. And maybe it's just me. Unknown trait, as we just uncovered, likes commitment, needs security. But I don't know if it, these are just so vague that I don't really understand what if that helps. And then maybe it's just me, I'm just not thinking into it enough or what, I don't know. I think the next one would be point of view. It's the only one I really haven't tested under heart. Um, I've tried Scared. I don't think I've tried Mastermind, but we're gonna do Push Around. Jacob. Are you the type of person to get pushed around? Look at him. He looks like he would get pushed around. What do you mean? Is your boss- is your boss pressuring you? To do things you don't want to? Um, uh, ah, uh, okay, so, um, the other ones I wrote down so I wouldn't forget, because I have a horrible memory, was it's under power, Authority and whoop no nope, protect. Jacob, I can help you. We can protect you. Who's we? P protect me. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so the other one's under power, hold responsible, and I wrote it down so fast that I, I can't even remember writing. Um, save your skin. I think. Jacob, if you're in hot water, you're the only person who can get. You out. Okay, I did, so I did it. And the last one was heart and flatter, and we compliment how smart he is. It takes a smart guy. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. To build all these machines. Thank you, but I don't work alone. Yay!
Listen. I can't say anything. But I can show you. Show me what? Take this. Go to the basement. The last door at the end of the corridor. Please be a save up here. Oh shit, no, mm-mm. Mm-mm, no. No, mm-mm. There really needs to be more saves in this area because... To get over here to Jacob was hard enough. Now I gotta go up there, grab a key, get out from three pink robots. Not looking forward to it. Alright, let's go. There's no there's no save. There needs to be a save in here. We just had a big dialogue. There should be a save. I key. And see, so then you die, and then I have to go through all that again. Okay, so we got out of... Or we got through persuading him. Now I'm gonna peek up here. God, I don't know how you do that. I really don't know. The other ones I thought were hard. This one... I think I'm just gonna go like this. Nope. Okay, I've gone through it once again, and I know what I need to do, it's just whether I can do it again. I did it a few seconds ago, and I screwed up, so I'm gonna- Oh, I didn't want that. Yeah, I know. Shut up. So, I'm gonna- The haul ass. That's how you get through there. This one, I just need to do the exact same, and not run into anything. There we go. Oh, oh, she's gone. I need to go save it. So bad. Ah, oh, okay. I feel so much better. Ah, I'm. This might be a long video, but I'm gonna continue because I don't know how much of this pre-alpha is left. So let's see here. We have the gate key, the business key, the crafty key, the sheet key, the old key, the garden key, the bird crest, the pacifier, and the eye key. I don't remember seeing a door to the eye key. With, for the eye key. He said it was in the basement. And instead of trying to... Oops. That's not the buttons I wanted to push. Not the button I wanted to push either. I think he's talking about down here. Basement to the left. That was all those doors that were locked. I hope there's no pink bot, or I hope there's no, well, pink, yeah, pink bots down there. So instead of traveling through the house, we're gonna tr quick travel to floor one. Apparently not. Or we're gonna quickly move out of the way. I am just so happy to be done with that one. Let's try going. Floor two? Okay. Um, there's no robots in here. That's a good sign. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, and then it... So that's not the way to go. I don't know how you could pass that pink bot on floor one. Maybe if we go to floor three? I don't think that's gonna do it. Let's try it. We'll just like scour each floor real quick. I don't think I talked to Nasha yet. Oh, <gasps> she's gone. Huh. Shot here? Where Nasha went? Uh, now I'm scared to go back up there because um, those purple robots are fast. Okay. 
go that way. I'm kind of anxious to see, since this is a pre-alpha, a new pre-alpha, I'm kind of anxious to see if there's anything new. So it is possible to get away from those bots. And then this just leads us back to where we just were. Now this is nursing. But I don't know what the creepy door. Oh, so the eye key opens the creepy door. Oh, okay, so that just leads us back down there though. Oh, is that really all? Can I not get to the other part of the where where um where um what was his name? Jacob? Can we not really go to where he said to go? Huh. I'm wondering. That might actually just be the end, though, for now. Because when the credits roll, that means the developers finished with pre-alpha 4.0. But Jacob said to go downstairs in the basement, but that bot gets you so quick, so I'm thinking it's you're not supposed to go down there yet. I think I'm gonna see real quick. I'm gonna keep this rolling. And I'm gonna see real quick if I can get down to that basement or if really just unlocking that little section if if that's if that's it. Okay, so I made it this far. I know I can go down here and unlock that. Okay, so she shouldn't be able to get me. I don't look like there's any robots down here, hopefully. Okay, so we can unlock this. And we can unlock this. It's funny the eye key unlocks the oh, creepy door. So let's go up here. And everything unlocks. Oh uh, man, I wish I could say that there's that pink box down there though. I don't think, I think I did this earlier in the game. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to do up there. I just wonder what's on this. He said to the left. Oh my God. What the hell is that? What is that? Oh, but you know what? I'm gonna do something real quick. I hope this doesn't screw me up. Um, I know there's a purple key over here. Please, no robots. I'm gonna see what this leads to just real quick. Where am I? Um... Um, I don't know what to do. There needs to be a save because I don't want to go through all that again. But there's no saves down here. The only save is over there where that bot is. And, um, yeah. Um, okay, well, um... We're gonna pray that whatever this big, if I can get through the door, big pink thing. Toto, put dialogue in, put dialogue in the bookcase. I wonder if that's for the developer. <laughs> Toto, put dialogue in the book. I, okay, so this must not be ready yet. And it must be a note to the developer to put some dialogue in the bookcases before we go on. And I can't go anywhere, so, um... That's just not unlocked yet for the game. Um, before I go on... 
Or before I finish up, I guess. I'm gonna go up here and see if that pink bottle kill me. Because she's not moving. Children's books. So I'm thinking that... Children's books. Can I click her? Hello, miss. Are you here to play? Sorry, kiddo. Oh, that's too bad. Why are you here then? I... I'm not sure. I'm looking for a secret. Someone hid something. Like a treasure hunt? You got it, kiddo. Will you play with me after? Oh, I thought that was Jacob. Now it's Jackson. No, Julia. The adults need to talk now. Beatrice, I told you to wait for me. What are we looking for, Jackie boy? Jackie boy? That's a silly name. What's the matter, miss? Um, I don't know. No. Tell me I've got it wrong. I wanted to explain before, who's Jackson? Was that Jacob? I thought his name was Jacob, not Jackson. Huh. I wanted to explain before. Explain! Damn, I just- did you see that? I just beat the hell out of that guy. I pushed him back like five feet. Please, don't fight. He said it was the best way to save the company. I just did what I was told. Who knows about this? Just me and Yvonne. He has clients who pay well. So your client can play with her? She's a robot, just a machine. If it's not a real kid, what's the harm? I still don't know who Jacob is. Am I, I'm, I'm missing something. I'd break your fucking legs if I could. <laughs> I'm one tough bitch. Evidence the client is already in your notes. Loading? Oh, no! Oh, well, there's a glitch with the pre-alpha. So I'm going to have to stop there because that was really all there was to do. Because we talked to him and then there was nothing to do on the other side at the moment because you could tell that it was um, not ready to be um, finished. It's not ready to be finished. What the hell does that mean? It was not ready. It needs to be finished because apparently Todo was telling us that the developer needed to put evidence, or not evidence, um, dialogue in the bookcases still. So I guess that's going to leave, I'm going to have to leave it here because um, I'm thinking if it say, says loading error failed to load map 92, it means the developer has purposely probably left it out because he's not ready for that section to be played yet. But um, I'm in love with this game. I really am. Um, my only concerns now is I, I said some, some of my concerns in the previous videos, and I especially I think it was in the the third one. I say is, is I because I thought it was the end. Is it, for being a pre alpha, it's amazing. Um, I love the style. I love the the little like I guess artwork because it's so classic feeling, and then it's but it's set in like nineteen sixty something, so it makes it feel like an older game, which I like. Um, the only things are, I've, I personally feel the persuasion things are a little too hard and I don't know if it's just me. I have a feeling it's just me. So I probably wouldn't change that, but even when it's, it gave me little hints, I think it's a little vague on what to push and maybe I'm just not getting something, but it's a good aspect of the game. Um. The maps are good, or not maps, the puzzles are good, but it takes a little time to study them, and then those little, luckily the pink robots are a little slower, so you have more time to um, get past them, but if you really aren't thinking, especially if you enter a room for the first time, 
and you don't know what to do, you you tend to, uh, at least I do, discombobble myself and I don't know where to go and I can't find the exit. But um, there needs to be, in my opinion, more um, saves or a quick save button or something to where I don't have to go back over and play, like, especially Jacob's section right there. I don't have to play his persuasion a hundred times just because I keep going up and missing the key that's in the room above. It, it would just be nice if like there was a, there was a phone in that room where I could quickly save to. I understand why they don't because the phone is there's one on each level, one on each floor, and then if if you tra quick travel like I was doing right there, then it wouldn't know what phone to put you at. But maybe it would be nicer to put more things, like maybe a quick save or somehow save your 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 gameplay really quick. But the phone can still be used for quick travel to certain sections of the floor, because like I said, when I kept dying in that one section, it was just a pain to have to go back and keep talking to Jacob and keep persuading him just to go back up and get that key. And maybe it's just me because I'm slower. <laughs> And it took me a long time to get the stupid key up there, but, um, it just, I feel like it needs more save options. And it would just be nice to quickly save it or, or, or something like, instead of using a telephone, maybe the telephone is for a save and quick travel, but maybe in certain rooms where there was a big action, like like when you talked to Jacob and you and he unlocked the door or or when you went over and found Aya or Aya um on the rooftop right after she shot those robots you know there's a little something that would quickly save it but it's not a, a quick travel so that would be nice but um I should get off the screen but that's okay but uh, overall I this game has such potential and I love it just that was really my only complaint is I can't save it enough. And there's obviously little glitches here and there. That might be a glitch, but then again, it might be the developer just not including it because he doesn't want you going any farther in the game. There's misspellings, which is nothing. It's an early development game. It's going to happen. There's a few times I've gotten stuck in rooms, like in a corner, because of just a glitch. And they're just little things. The developer, they'll figure it out for sure. But um, that'll be it for this game for now. That's pre-alpha 4.0. Um, uh, if the next pre-alpha comes out, I might not play it for a while because there might not be, they might not upload enough to make a video. I might wait for a couple pre-alphas to come out or maybe the alpha. Um, I think I saw the developer said he's got a couple more dates planned, whether they um, are able to hit the deadline or not. Uh, they don't know, but... They, I think I read that the full game they're aiming to come out sometime in 2020, and I can't wait because as soon as the game comes out fully, um, I'm going to try and and get it. And I don't know if I'll do a YouTube video or if I'll do a stream of it. It just kind of depends on what when it comes out and everything. So, um, but enough of that. That'll be it for this video. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button below. Uh, hit the notification bell, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.